Life. So beautiful. So complicated. What exactly makes up life? Well, my friends, it's cells. And today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the enterocyte cell. This unique little guy is located in the intestinal villi of organisms. You know the villi, the little woo 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 things look like fingers inside the intestinal tract. Well, what do they do? They produce and they secrete digestive enzymes uh, to help break down sugars and proteins into small things that we can actually use in our body and in our bloodstream. And now I'd like to hand it over to cell structure expert, Mark Bennett. In fact, I think I hear him coming along now. Hello friends, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the structure of your intracyte cells. So, these cells, as you might be able to see, are epithelial. That means that they're long and rectangular. Wow! And another characteristic of these bad boys is that they have these finger-like projections. What are these finger-like projections called? They're called microvilli. What do these microvilli do? They increase surface area. So, whereas before it would have just been bang, bang, this makes it bang, 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 bang. Nice. So, makes your surface area tremendous, which helps immensely with absorption. That is your nucleus right there. It's oval, oval shaped and is found near the base of the cell, right near your bloodstream. That is the structure of these things. So, Mark, what's the big idea here? Big idea is that form follows function. Now, we learned that in English class, but this is biology. Well, so, any cell in your digestive tract, its job is to take in nutrients to keep you alive. So these bad boys are gonna have to take in a lot of nutrients. How do they do this? Well, they do this through the absorption of things. And what do they need to do this? They need a high surface area to volume ratio. So how do they get this ratio? They have microvilli. So these microvilli increase <clears throat> the surface area leading to higher absorption. So what? What organelles are found in abundance in these bad boys? Well, until recently, scientists believed that the microvilli brush border located on these enterocyte cells was just for the sole purpose of absorbing materials. But they've actually found out that these things generate a lot of vesicles in order to transport these um, absorbed proteins and sugars um, and carry them through to the other side of the cell. So vesicles are definitely a big organelle in this, in this cell. So if you're looking for a real world example of these enterocyte cells, besides being an organism's intestines, you can kind of think of it like the, the roots of this tree. Um, the roots are necessary in order to absorb uh, nutrients for the tree's health. And that is kind of the same function that these enterocyte cells have in our intestines. And because it's processing proteins, there is going to be ribosomes as any other cell would have. So. Thank you very much for watching our video about intracyte cells, and I hope you know a little bit more about your digestive tract.